Crack the ceiling, then I pour up the lean. I'm feeling good today. Good today. I'm feeling good today. Good today. I'm feeling good today. Pack of woods and then I roll up the tree. I'm feeling good today. Good today. I'm feeling good today. Good today. I'm feeling good, 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 good. Crack the hen and then I pour it up. Then I drink it up. Never throw it up. I'm feeling good today. Good today. I'm feeling good today. Good. Make the money, then I count it up. Then I wrap it up. Go and put it up. I'm feeling good today. Good. I'm feeling so damn good. Drink the medicine. What's up, guys? We are back. Hey, what's up? We're doing a reaction video to um, a cartoon that our friend Rona vlogged. Hey, girl! And please go check out her channel. Um, our dear friend is from Denmark, and she told us about this cartoon. Uh, it's it's called John Dillamond. Dillamond. Um, and I, it's an interesting cartoon. It's it's called John Dillerman and the Long Schlong, <laughs> and it's a cartoon which um, she said that it's a it's a children's cartoon, but I mean it's it's for the culture. Though. It's like different cultures. So. Yeah, it, it's it's a culture thing. It's a culture thing. So, you know, it's for the children in, in their country. It's okay. It's okay. But here. And I'm not going to say, I, you know, well, I'm not going to tell you how I feel. I, you know, it's, I will say, um, this is not for little children. This is mm -hmm. not for little children to watch at all. This is, you know, you should be an adult. 18 you know, or older. Yeah. Well, at least 17, at least older. 17, no, at least 17 years or older, in my opinion, um, to watch this. This is not meant to be a video um, that's sexual in any kind of way or explicit. Um, it's just but, a cartoon, but you have to keep an open mind when you watch it because in Denmark, this is okay for little children. So, I. We're gonna show this video, um, you know, a, a nice, a little clip of the, of the video, um, which you can find on YouTube. And uh, we're gonna give you where, where our can you, opinion. Where, where can you find it at? Just type in the name. I'm just saying where though. Google. On, on, on what? Google. On YouTube. I want you to say YouTube. Yeah. No, I said on YouTube. Not, I said you can I find know. this on YouTube. I want you to repeat yourself. Okay, you can find this on YouTube. <laughs> Um, so we're gonna play this video, and again, um, shout out to our shout friend, out to our friend Rona. Yes, please go, go check, check out, out our channel. Like I said, go now. Nah, wait till the video. Yeah, don't go now. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> all right, um, all right, we're about to check this out. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Hey, John D. Lovin! John D. Lovin! John D. Lovin! Han har været den stikste D. Lovin! Der er næsten ikke noget, han ikke kan med det. Han kan smile lidt rundt, han kan blive lidt flov, han kan redde hele verden, hvis han bare fik lov. John D. Lovin! 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 John D. This is... A cartoon about a cartoon character a big with, no, with an extremely long penis, basically. Which, I mean, I can see the humor in it because it's I not like... You can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see... Everybody can see it. But <laughs> no, I thought you could be like, what? <laughs> Listen, I'm not about I'm not about to talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm not about to talk about that kind of stuff. But you know, me personally, I I can kind of okay. All right, let's start over. We live in a country where every every little thing offends somebody, right? Everything like nothing is funny anymore. Everything you say. 
uh, you watch, you do, offend somebody. So you have to be careful of everything. So a cartoon like this would have, you know, it, it, it would offend so many people and they would, if this was playing on an actual TV network, they Adult would be trying to get it off the air. They would, they would try everything to get it off the air because they would be so offended by it. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I see the humor in it and I say, but it's, it's, I think, I think personally that it's not, it's just not age appropriate for real little children. You know what I mean? So you would, you would let Isaiah watch that? <sighs> Isaiah saw you guys, I didn't know. Um, we don't even let Isaiah watch it on Slim, so. Okay, you know, I would say it's not age appropriate for him. But because of the time that we live in, he didn't seen worse on regular TV. You know what I'm saying? He didn't seen worse. He didn't seen worse on regular TV. I don't think children under the age of 15 should watch anything. You know, I don't think it's really a bad cartoon because remember we had Betty Boop. Remember her? She had the real big boobs. It's kind of good point. Thing. Good point. Very good point. You know, I didn't think of it like that, but that's a very good point. But you know, it then see. Again, we live in a time where, you know, like you seen in the intro, with my man then tied balloons to his penis <laughs> and flow. You gonna have some little kid out there trying to tie the balloons to his stuff. He gonna, he gonna be trying to fly away, like you know what I mean? Go on, me doing that. Probably, probably, you know. So that and that's the problem. We live in a time where common sense don't really don't exist yeah you know it don't exist so you're gonna have some idiot that's gonna <laughs> that's gonna try it and then end up hurting himself and then he gonna want to sue the producers of the of the show and say you know what that gave me the idea so now he think he has the right to sue the people who made the show because he get he was dumb enough to try something like that that wasn't meant for him to try that was meant to be a car i mean you know what i mean you see the rabbit hole i'm talking about like it's just America is one big rabbit hole. Like everywhere you look around, there's a rabbit hole all around you. Every step you take, you know. So I, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's that bad. It's actually funny, you know. But it's got to be age appropriate. You know what I'm saying? That's how I see it. I don't think you should. I don't think you know a, a eight nine year old should be watching that. Oh, three, I don't four think year old, five year old should not be watching that. You know, I, I don't think so. I don't even think a twelve year old. Thirteen you know what? I said seventeen plus. But I'm gonna I'm gonna say fifteen. I'm gonna say fifteen, 15 16. 16. And you can almost compare it to you can compare it to anything. You know, you can compare it to um explicit lyrics in, in songs. What age should a child be listening to you know, an explicit song like like WAP or something like that, a Cardi B song or like what age should you be? You know, well we know it says you should be 17 years old, right? We know that because it's on the label of it. But what is the actual age? Because you see little bitty kids running <laughs> you see little bitty kids singing the song i didn't sing kids six years old singing cardi b songs you know what i'm saying so i mean it's it's a rabbit hole you know it's it's a rabbit hole to me what you think yeah <laughs> she said yeah yeah I, I just think it's a rabbit hole it's it's a rabbit hole it's really not that bad but i just think you know here in America, everybody is so freaking sensitive to everything. You know what I'm saying? They sensitive to it's a any and everything. You got to be politically correct with every word you use and everything you say. So, you know, I don't see a huge problem with it, but I see the other side who would have a huge problem with it, who would try to use it as an excuse to say you know i went suicidal and and tried to hurt myself because i seen this cartoon the person who made it 
owe me some money. He owed me $10 million. You know, it's just a huge rabbit hole. So, um, I, I am, my hat's off to Denmark for being such an open country, you know, to be able to show stuff like that and teach their children. Maybe we should teach our children like that too, you know. And I can't say that we don't, because maybe, you know, a lot of parents do teach their children, you know, right from wrong or the difference between things because I know definitely we teach our children. I know definitely we teach our children. Yeah, we teach our children. Oh, there she go. <laughs> so that was, that's that's my thoughts on it. My, I mean, I don't see it as such a bad thing. Again, I didn't know anything about it um, until Rona showed us the cartoon, which, again, I just thought it was interesting because when she showed it, there was quite a few people, I guess, that got offended by it. She got a lot of thumbs down and just thought it was interesting because, you know, again, we just live in a time and age where everything offends everybody instead of sometimes looking at something for what it is they look at it in a different way but i guess that's why people are different because everybody looks at stuff in different ways so i don't really have a problem with my son watching even though i, I do. don't even I though do. i i don't because it's my, not it's not my, for his age it's son not for his age watch, he couldn't even watch um what's the show for no time um Family Guy, and what's up the show? Family Guy. South Park. South Park. <laughs> yeah. Was that for a long time, so. That's a, that's a good point. Actually, Family Guy in South Park is actually worse than that. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, we watched the whole cartoon. It's worse than that. But, I'm saying, for me, my I don't have a problem with my child watching. It's because... Um, we teach our child the difference between right and wrong. And we teach our child... Everything that we can possibly teach him. And I know that's not something that he would even watch. It wouldn't even turn him that's on. That's true. It wouldn't even turn him on. So it's not like I'm going to see it and I'm going to go, oh, What you watching? You know, because that's not even something he'll watch, you know. Okay, so um, again, if you if you want to check it, if you want to check it out, just uh, Google search his name or put it in YouTube search, John Dillamond. And... Make sure y'all go check out my girl, Rona. Yes, please go Tell check out. We sent you. Say the right way, sent you. Make sure y'all subscribe to our channel, please. We're trying to get to 10,000. Yes. Please. And, um, please. like and comment. And share. Oh, yeah, and share with a friend of a friend. And thumbs up this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. If you if you feel, if you, I mean, whatever. You like it, you don't like it, just let us know you was there. And in the comments, let us know how you feel about this um, Danish cartoon. Um, and we'll, we'll see you on the next video. In the next video. Bye, guys. Drink the medicine and spit the flu. Pour up yellow, same color Pikachu. Yeah, the Tussin got a nigga bustin'. Pour a whole pint in a bowl of fruit. Then let it soak in with the vodka. Pour a line in a pina colada. By the end of the day, I done emptied the bottle. I'm cool in the cooler.